everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. So today I have Emma Grace with me, and Emma Grace is the cami sculpt by Ping Lao. And um, she wanted to come on today because she wanted to um, welcome her big sister, uh, not a twin sister, but she's um, a, probably about the same size as uh, this one, um, at Holly Church's um, nursery. And Holly Church just got a brand new toddler that she named Madeline. And so um, this one is my uh, tallest toddler in my nursery. And uh, Madeline is Holly's tallest uh, toddler in her nursery. And so um, Emma Grace wanted to come on and just say welcome and and hello to her new, um, I guess not sister, but cousin, because they are not twins. They're different sculpts. Uh, but anyway, so um, I wanted to bring her on too because I haven't had her on in a while. And I have a really pretty dress that um, Holly had gifted to Emma Grace, and I wanted to put that on her today. So I'm going to turn her around uh, so that I can show you the beautiful dress that Holly sent uh, quite a while ago. I believe it was to welcome um, Emma Grace into my nursery. I'll turn her head around so you can see here a little bit. So this is the dress outfit that Holly sent. It's just gorgeous. Um, so it's got lace. It's sort of like an off-white uh, lace or a white or an off-white lace. I can't tell because it's got um, these yellow uh, shorts that came with it. Let me go ahead and pull those out. I think it is kind of an off-white color. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's gorgeous. Uh, see the pretty lace and um, this pretty gingham uh, yellow and white bow. And then the, bo the bottom of it has uh, different colored flowers. It's got um, blue, like light blue, light pink, um, light green, just gorgeous. And then it's got um, an attached slip underneath, which is really nice. And the back buttons. And it's got these uh, butterfly sleeves. And then I'll show you the, um, the little bloomers that came with it. Um, this is such a, a cute summery outfit. Um, I wanted to put it on her. And the bloomers are, are a, uh, like a, a yellow and white uh, gingham as well. And they have little ruff ruffles on the bottom. And then for her accessories, I'm going to be putting on these shoes. And you haven't seen these shoes before. So these are the little Tootsie's shoes that are hand-painted. And um, on the bottom they say, flower child on them and um, I kind of grew up in the flower child uh, era that's the peace symbol for those that of you that are young and don't recognize that symbol that's what we had back in the 60s and 70s and um, anyway so these are uh, you know they have the yellow and they have the like the red and the green and I just thought they would look really cute with this outfit and then these socks um, I thought would go really really well too because they're super lacy just like the dress and then the accessories um, for her hair is going to be a, um, a pretty yellow bow and then I wanted to pull out the blue in the dress with these uh, real pretty uh, sparkly uh, blue heart earrings so yeah, that's what we're going to be putting on her today. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I may or may not use the um, the pearl necklace. I'm thinking of using the pearl necklace. I think it looks so uh, cute on her, but we'll see. And I'm also going to be putting a new hairdo on her. Uh, one that I haven't done before on my baby. So, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take her little toy. This is the toy that she came with. She was, um, she was reborn by Emma Bennett and Emma sent this cute little, little, uh, puppy dog with her. So I'll put that aside 
And for now, we'll take off her necklace so that we can get her changed. So just before this video, um, I was kind of wondering, you know, I wanted, I wanted to do a creek video today. What I wanted to do was um, I had just uh, purchased this really nice picnic blanket, and uh, which is really unique because it has uh, like a plastic lining on the bottom and then sort of a soft uh, blanket on top. And I thought today would be a perfect day to, to go have, um, you know, to go do a creek video and put the, bring all the girls out. I was going to bring all the Ping Lao girls oh, out. I, what I ended up doing was I took, um, I, I took my camera and I took a walk uh, from the mailbox on down to the creek um, just to show you guys and the creek isn't really flowing that well I mean it, there were some little tiny bubbly sounds but it wasn't uh, really that great not worth the the trip down there so um, I decided though that I was going to go ahead and do a video anyway of the creek and the surrounding area and everything and that way um, you know I could show you how beautiful the day is because uh, today, today, uh, yesterday, and the day before have been so nice and so low humidity. Um, it, it's just been so enjoyable. And I wanted to show you, you know, the beautiful uh, weather that we're being blessed with right now. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put that, the creek video, um, at the end of this video for those of you that are interested in seeing it it's about it's only about five minutes long so um, I think that uh, you know I'll put it in the, at the end because maybe not a lot of you would like to see it but I know that I do have a lot of Dolly friends that are um, interested in um, the creek and the surrounding area on my property so um, I hope you enjoy it so anyway um, but I did want to show you a photo that that uh, my husband took of me yesterday um, so yesterday my husband uh, he cut down this huge tree uh, 100 feet tall he said it was at least 100 feet tall and it was uh, 24 inches around in diameter and so um, it was a dead tree it's one that he's been needing um, to remove from the property because dead trees are called widow makers here. Um, widow makers are trees that are dead and you never know when they're going to fall, you know. So anyway, he needed more firewood and he needed to cut that tree. So he, um, so he took his chainsaw and went up to the mountain and cut the tree down. And boy, I could not believe when I saw... Um, how huge the logs were and my husband took a I, I went and sat on one of the logs and um, and I asked him to take my picture so that I could show you uh, how huge the logs were that that um, he cut and the log that I was uh, sitting on was the top of the tree if you can believe that so uh, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and insert that photo right now to show you how huge this tree was So there's me and there's the huge log and all of that wood that you see in the photos. Um, that's all the wood that came from that tree, if you can believe it or if you can believe it. And uh, he still, he told me that he still has four huge logs that he needs to bring down uh, to, you know, to the, um, to the log pile. But he just ran out of time and he ran out of energy yesterday. So, um. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that picture, and you can see how big some of our trees are here. And um, that is a, he believes that that is an ash tree. And so um, he's, he's more familiar with the trees than I am. Uh, he really is, so, uh, and I'm not even sure how I would look, look that tree up on the internet because I don't know what the leaves look like or anything like that because it was a dead tree, so. But, um. Boy, look at this. Look at, um, you know, Little Miss Emma Grace is so 
big. Look at how tall she is. She is she is swinging her feet off of the, the changing table. That is so cute. That is so cute. She's just having a good old time while mom tries to get her into her little bloomers. She's just hanging her little legs off of the changing table, just waggling them, waggling them. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and pick this heavy girl up and I'm going to put her shoes on and then I am going to um, try out that new hairdo on her. I think it's going to look really cute. So it's a, it's going to be like a one ponytail on, you know, on top with the big, that big yellow bow that I showed you. And I'm pretty excited to see her in that style because it'll, like I said, it's going to be the first time that I've done that style. And you know what, you guys, I don't do hair. I do not do hair. Um, I do, you know, I don't do hair do's, you know, like hairstyles. I do, uh, you know, simple things like ponytails and, and braids. Um, and that's it. Ponytails and braids. <laughs> and uh, that's about the extent that I can do. I really do wish that I was good at doing hairstyles, you know, because, um, you know, Maggie May and um, Emma Grace and Heidi and, you know, um, gosh, uh, a bunch of my other um, toddler girls have nice long hair. And so I wish that I could just give them, you know, um, different cute hairstyles all the time, but um, I'm just not good at it. And that's, it is what it is. Okay, so she's got her shoes on, and now um, I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change her earrings. Yeah, we'll just work our way up to the top. Oh, another thing that I did yesterday, too, uh, last evening, I went around the garden, and um, I, I captured um, 20 Japanese beetles. Those beetles that are eating up my, my uh, green bean leaves. I captured 20 of them and um, I got rid of them and so I'm gonna have to do that every day uh, hopefully the numbers will go down because they are eating my leaves and turning my leaves into green lace and that's not good for the leaves because um, you know photosynthesis can't take place on leaves that are not whole leaves you know what I mean it's when the leaves are too lacy like that just full of holes so, um, anyways, so, you know, each evening I'm going to have to do that. Uh, I don't see any new damage from Naughty Peter Rabbit. And so I think there's two, there's probably two reasons. There's one of two reasons why. Um, number one, uh, he, you know, when he was, was getting through the fence before he was a baby bunny, and um, he could get through the chain link fence holes and now um, he's getting bigger and so um, he's not you know able to get through the holes anymore so i think that's it along with the irish spring soap i think both of those things um, are helping to keep him out okay so since this is a new hairdo i'm gonna i'm gonna stop trying to chat right now and I'm, I was thinking what I what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some water right here um, to make it kind of easier to part because um, Emma's hair the way that she does it it parts really easily it's just that it was used to being in that type of a hairdo you know how it goes like even with your hair um, She's got human hair, so that's, you know, that's why it's just so manageable. But um, If your hair is like my hair, once you put it into a style, it just, it just really wants to stay in that particular style. So I'm going to wet it right here in the front. Yeah, let me get a Kleenex and... She says, she says, Mommy, look at your getting me all wet and shiny. My, um, I have a Kleenex box that I keep down here that I keep for just this reason because, you know, the babies don't like to have wet heads. They just don't. That just bothers them. But, yeah, you can see how precisely um, 
Emma's parts are when she does her um, the rooting. So yeah, what my thought was is I was going to do this. I was going to take it up like this. Um, because I, you know, she's got this this pretty yellow bow on her dress right here, and I, I wanted to kind of um, coordinate with that bow, but put um, another bow on this side. So I thought it looked really cute. So let's see what happens here. And I, you know, I'm so fortunate that she's got human hair like this because it is just so easy to work with. It just really is. Yeah, it just really is. And I just saw the pearl necklace. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that back on her as soon as I get done here. I think that's going to be just right. And she'll have that big old bow, like a big old Shirley Temple bow, you know. Yeah. Try to get all the hair out of her face. Here's her. I'll turn her around so that you can see fully when I get done here. But there we go. What do you think? Yeah, I, I like that. I think she looks really, really pretty like that. But like I said, I'll turn her around in just a minute. I'm almost done with her. Um, I want to put these beads back on. I think she looks adorable in these beads. She just calls for beads whenever she's wearing um, fancy dresses. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. And there she is. I'll, I'll go ahead and turn her around now so you can um, see all of her cuteness. Put this away. There she is. There she is. My little beautiful Emma Grace. I named her after Emma Bennett, the um, the awesome artist that um, that reborn her. So I'm going to go ahead and lift her up. Now you're only going to be able to see her bottom half <laughs> at a time because she's a big girl. But there, so there's her um, cute little bloomers right here. Let me see if I can lift her all the way up so you can see her cute little shoes, her little flower girl shoes. I think this is such an adorable outfit for her. Um, Holly, you did a good job. Thank you so much. But um, So that's, that's little Emma Grace, and that's her outfit. And um, so, yeah, if you want to uh, stay tuned and um, see the fun video that I did, I did some chatting, you know, uh, with the creep video and stuff too, so it's not just a quiet one. Um, but um, anyway, everyone, uh, I just wanted to say to uh, happy Fourth of July to those of you who live in America. Um, hope you're having a good day with that, and that you're having barbecues or getting together with family, whatever you want to do to have a great day today. So um, anyway, everyone, thank you for visiting, and. Um, I really enjoyed doing this vi video with you. Hope you have a wonderful um, upcoming week. And until we meet again, bye-bye. So today is such a gorgeous day outside uh, that I wanted to go down to the creek and do a creek video. So um, as I was walking along uh, the top of the road here, um, actually the top of the road is back there, um, I was looking down at the creek and wondering if it had enough water in it to go over the rocks. So I thought, ah, I'll take you guys down and let's take a look and see. But I wanted to show you how pretty of a day it is today. It's only about, oh gosh, I don't even know if it's 70 degrees. And the sun is out already. Um, see all the clover in the grass? All that white stuff in the grass? I can smell the clover. Clover has such um, a sweet smell to it. My Benji bunny loves it. Um, I usually gather him up clover every couple of days. Uh, he likes uh, clover as well as, um, what do you call it? Oh, dandelion leaves. So this is not the part of a creek that I usually show you, but look how shallow it is. So I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping that I have enough um, 
water running over the rocks to show you guys. So let's go down. See, that's way down there is where I usually take you. So let's go down and see what we can see. Oh, and the birds are chirping. I'm loving this day, you guys. We've had two days in a row. Actually, this is the third day that we've had gorgeous, gorgeous weather with uh, very low humidity. And I think these these are called uh, mulberries, mulberry bushes, I think. There's the little, let me get closer. There's the little berries. I think that's what those are. And we have some across the creek too, as you can see. Oh, I hope, hope. But you know, I think it would be um, fun to take you guys along just uh, for a little walk. Um, I'm going to be doing a changing video today and I just wanted to add this to the video. You know, just to give you guys a little walk outdoors. And I have some more of these, um, I don't know if they're mulberries or what these are called, but I'm going to look these up and I'll for sure tell you or show you in the video uh, what they're called. They start out with flowers like that and then those flowers turn into those little tiny berries that I just showed you. Okay, you guys, here's our favorite part of the creek. Yay, we made it. Okay, let's go down. We're going to go down the hill and see if we can hear any wonderful creek noises. We're hearing ca car noises, aren't we? <laughs> oh, look. See that? Those are raccoon. Um, the first little paws are raccoon paws, and then those deeper ones are deer. So we have uh, raccoon, and we have deer today, or sometime, maybe early this morning. So yeah, there it is. Not much creek sound today. It's very low. I'm shocked because we've had some um, really big thunderstorms come through uh, this past week. I think it's shallow enough to walk in. I have my boots on. Do with my boots. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try walking in the creek. Get closer to the creek sounds for you. Oh, I'm glad I did this, you guys. Guess what? My right boot has a hole in it. <laughs> and it is slowly filling up with water. And uh, I've had these... I've had this pair of boots for about two years now. It is time to get a new pair. Oh my, I just hate getting new shoes, don't you? But yeah, it's filling up. I better get this one out of the water. It's this culprit, right? Whoop! Right here. Filling up with water. Ah! So I'll be quiet for a second so you can hear the little tiny trinkling sounds of the creek. Gorgeous out. Turn around and look the other way. See what we can see. Wow. So pretty. I am so blessed. I really am.
And that's the path that I came down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop this video right now, and then I'm going to go inside the nursery um, and do a changing video for you. So, um, hope you enjoyed the creek video. See you soon. Mm -hmm.